tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. I also noticed, Jen, that, you know, in your bio, I was reading it, in the past, you also have done something, not just for yourself, but also reaching out to someone um, who was very ill. And you actually had your uh, head shaved at that time for someone. <laughs> so tell us more about it. I think that was really amazing of you to do it. Oh, thank you so much. What's well, funny, being here with you, Anita, I'm like tempted to go back because you look so fabulous and you are just rocking it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you don't know when you go bald, at least I didn't. So there was a young boy named Tyler Cordova and I realized very early on that in lieu of a birthday party every other year, I wanted to throw a party for charity to help raise awareness for kids, education, and cancer. And so this all culminated one year in my partnering with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And we threw, uh, there was a young boy that year named Tyler Cordova, who was about seven years old and six of the seven years of his life, he had been fighting cancer. Mm. And when we started off this event, it was to honor him because he had overcome and he was in remission. And then in the middle of all of this, when we were fundraising for, you know, the Lymphoma Society, and he was like the poster boy of it that year, he got cancer again and your heart just aches. I mean, here you have the seven-year-old kid and he's had the most beautiful spirit. And so we decided, you know, when you're a kid, imagine how awkward it must be to be bald and then, you know, you don't look the same perhaps as the other kids and he had to have a stint too. And so all this happened and we said, what if we shaved our heads in honor of him? So we actually got a local radio station, K-Rock involved in Los Angeles. We got about four or 500 people together. We had bands come from all over and play, and myself and 10 other people shaved our heads in honor of Tyler Walton there. And it was one of my favorite moments of my entire life because Tyler is now a healthy, young, 18 year old man going to come. Wow. Wow. Wonderful. My favorite part, ladies, is that he prefers to be bald. He said that day when the 10 of us shaved our heads in honor of him, he realized it was cool to be bald and he never felt ashamed of it again. And so uh, I just am so deeply grateful to have been able to contribute in that way. Yeah, the Dr. Anita was talking about going within so that you can also demonstrate your uh, desires and particularly earlier I was talking about miracles and being the miracle actually that you'd like to demonstrate in the world. Especially we're talking about the Christ consciousness and as we all know, we identify with Christ because of the multitude of miracles that he was able to demonstrate in his own life and that's why he has a lot of followers in this uh, space especially in my country when you talk about uh, Jesus the Christ then a lot of people are actually uh, advocates of Jesus and uh, what my mom calls him Yeshua and the going within aspect so you know mom I want to share something I'm not sure if you've read uh, Dr. Catherine Ponder's book and she wrote the book uh the millionaire from nazareth and in that book she was talking about jesus and how remarkable he was in terms of letting the multitudes of people find out that god is within and that if you discover that god is within and that source is within you you'll really have a miraculous life. But in the first place, what Jesus wanted to get across to people is that once you realize that God is within you, this should actually be your normal. Thriving should be your normal. You shouldn't have any problem with money, with health, or any other things that you actually would like to demonstrate in your own life. So please share your thoughts on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree with that um you know i have late recently i'm going to say recently um as far as prayer i'm really really on my journey now that um my prayer is um you know thy will be done i pray to hear thy will and then have the courage to do thy will Dr. Miles uh, Monroe in a, YouTube, a video on uh, YouTube, he was saying how, um, he said every day, ask God to define, refine, refresh, reveal what your gift is. Because we all have, we all have that talent, that special gift. 
and what we will find. Thinking about everything, you know, with what just happened, it's such a great opportunity because it's not in the moment where we get to sit and be on camera and look cute and say things that ho are hopefully meaningful to people. It's in the moments where stuff happens in life where you get to see, oh, how do I handle that? How do I reconnect and recenter, you know, and reground ourselves? And it was funny, as I was walking back to situate myself, I was just thinking, oh, I don't know how, but this could be for the good. And you just gotta laugh, because I'm sure whatever Anita shared in this moment was exactly what the audience was meant to receive. And I think that's one of the things that the more spiritual we tools we use and the more we deepen our practice, the greater our ability to be resilient. Whether we're talking about COVID or an unexpected interruption or whatever it might be, this is terrible to admit. I can't even believe I'm gonna share this story. I was doing years and years ago when I first started doing you know hosting things at a consulting company over 10 years ago at the time my brother-in-law at the time lived uh, with us and he was trying to get into the house and I was in the middle of a show and let's just say that was very early on in my spiritual development and I lost it it was not pretty I did what I like to call the red mist so I talk about this in the show that I'm covering jerk so I want to be very clear that, you know, life is going to happen. It's our choice to respond rather than react that defines who we are as human beings. And that time gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So instead of being angry or upset or reactive for hours, days, weeks, years, it literally becomes five seconds and you get to shift back. So I just want to highlight that because I just saw that as a learning opportunity for myself going, great, what was the lesson and how is this for the good? Now, to tie it back, it's funny, I'm, I'm going to say something different than I initially had anticipated, which is maybe why it was for the good. <laughs> um, but one of the things that was taught to me when I started doing this chant is to visualize from my heart my deepest desires being projected onto the wall. And simultaneously, as much time as I spend chanting for something I personally desire, I spend equal amounts of time chanting for something that somebody else needs. It could be health, prosperity, their soulmate, whatever it is. So for me, that's one of the keys to having sustenance, happiness, and bliss in life is balancing what you want what with, with what other people want and making sure that you're asking for both, not just desiring to receive for the self alone. And my teacher, uh, Michael Beckwith, taught me also to say, I'll sit with my mala beads and typically about 108 times every day, I'll say, God is the source of my supply. And I'll go through 108 times. So that way I never forget to go back to the Christ consciousness. Everything is provided for, all of our needs are met. And so by saying it out loud, God is the source of my supply. God is the source of my supply. I'm never, uh, wrongly assuming that it comes from me because when we assume that physical wealth comes from the material world, we're giving ourselves only 1% of all of the happiness, sustenance, prosperity, joy we could experience. When we realize and we plug into the light that's all around us to the 99% of the real reality, which is endless bliss and happiness, then we get to have it all. But sometimes we become so fixated on the 1% material plane that that's how the devil, Satan, our ego gets us, is to focus on getting a little itty bitty bit of happiness over here, when in reality, everything we've ever wanted is available. It's up to us to ask for it. So of course, I have all your uh, materials here, mom, thank you. Uh, Dr. Diana Vuni, Dr. Cindy Palos, my friend, Anthony Benton Brown, Jen, your books here, uh, Reverend Adam Hayden, um, Perspective Metaphysics, uh, Dr. Stephen J. Kasmina, Dr. Kathleen Riley, whom I got to know through Jen. And at the same time, uh, of course, uh, Tina Brinkley Potts, who was here teaching us about marketing. So for those of you who would like to get your brand um, in a better, um, you know, visibility, I encourage everyone to get in touch with Tina and of course, Dr. Cindy Palos. So that's all for tonight. And, you know, I just want to sum up uh, what Jennifer Hill and Dr. Powell was talking about earlier. You know, both of them actually came from situations where they can feel limited and then just be eaten up by whatever situation they had during this uh, 2020. It, you know, it's a very interesting year for all of us, but both of them came out uh, unscathed, um, even better, stronger. Uh, uh, with Jen, she was able to, you know, get herself literally stronger out of the experience. 
So thank you so much for the amazing work that both of you did. And uh, I hope that our viewers are inspired by their stories because I am personally inspired by the things that they have achieved, especially this year. And I encourage all of you to follow them. You know, I think it's so important now in the digital world to be in touch with people whom we'd like to imbibe their consciousness, their energy. And mom, I want to thank you for always being uh, so welcoming to everyone. Uh, always light up the room. And Jen, uh, I love watching your shows with Brandon, so uh, keep it up. And I also want to thank Ralph, Dean, and also my co-producer, Sir Rolly and Sir Charlie, V81 Radio Management. Thank you so much. I'm Reverend Reg, and I'm your metaphysical host for V81 Radio. And remember, you're the magic you've been waiting for. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.